Hey guys, Alex here, and I apologize in advance if the camera's too close. I'm using a GoPro for this vlog, um, so I don't know if it's too close or not. If I put it, if I put my hand way out, you know, arm's length, that'll be too far. Uh, yeah, the GoPro has a fish, fish eye view, so hopefully it's not too close. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna do a vlog for you guys on the uh, Germany USA uh, group stage match. This is the uh, the last match of the group stage for these two countries, and. Yeah, I like, I love both of these teams. These are my two favorite teams of the World Cup. But uh, when I was growing up, I, I gotta keep saying this because people might be new to this channel. But when I was growing up, I didn't really get into uh, soccer until I started watching Germany play. And yeah, I grew up watching, uh, you know, Bundesliga. I grew up watching uh, Jürgen Klinsmann at the, uh, the World Cup. Klinsmann was my hero growing up, he's my idol, and watching Germany, that was my inspiration for playing soccer. So that's why I identify with the with the Germany whenever it comes to soccer, and um, my only affiliation with uh, U.S. soccer is that I'm American. That's really the only affiliation with U.S. soccer for me. I I grew up playing soccer here, um, but yeah, my inspiration always, was always Germany. Some people, you know, was inspired by Brazil. I just went the the European route. So, anyways, uh, I watched this. Uh, this match downtown Orlando there's a big block party and you know they just uh, seal off an entire block and uh, you have all, all these uh, soccer fans going to watch the World Cup and um, it was a predominantly uh, um, you know American crowd because you know we're all Americans of course and uh, there were some uh, some Germany fans there uh, I didn't get to talk to them though because uh, they were kind of kind of far out there but I saw them and before I go into the, the uh, my thoughts on this match, I just want to say, fellow Americans, guys, be nice to, to to you know our opponents. Don't don't throw shit at them. Yeah, there were um, you know people were booing them. That's fine. I mean, you know, like a fun boo, like boo. That's fine. But some people took it too far. They started throwing like crap at these uh, at these Germany fans, like when they were cheering. Like, uh, there was an incident where, um, they started throwing a lot of ice at the, at these German fans. And then this old man, he was, a, he was a, a Germany fan. He, he, uh, threw like a bottle in return. I, I'm not sure that, that that's what I was told. I didn't see it myself. So that story could be, uh, could be falsified, but I did see the German guy getting, um, taken away by, by the police. But still, man, you guys can't throw crap at people. That's. You know, that's not the American way. It, it's just... I, I was kind of embarrassed. You know, by my... By my fellow Americans. So, uh... Yeah. Oh, let me talk about the match. I don't have any of the match details. I do know that the uh, the U.S. was uh, rocking out a... Uh, was it a 4-5-1 or 4-4-2? Shoot, I forgot. I think it's 4-5-1. And... Germany was using its 4-3-3, of course. And I was I was glad to see uh, Klose. He came in in the second half at the very start of it, so he had he had a lot more um, playing time. That was good, but he didn't score. Uh, the winning goal was by uh, Thomas uh, Mueller. I know I mispronounced that. Um, and he's one of my favorite players on the the German team. I also like Podolski and Klose. I like I like them all to be honest. But uh, yeah, Mueller has been one of my favorites. And I would say for the first. I would say for the, the entire game, uh, Germany was just controlling the ball. And in the first half, they were just taking... They had all these great ch um, like chances that they, they could have uh, taken against the United States. But they uh, you know, they, they had the build-up. But when they got to the um, American uh, penalty area, they would either miss or, you know, flub up the pass. Stuff like that. But yeah, Germany was dominating the, the ball. The, the scoreline was 1-0. I don't think it really reflected how, how much Germany dominated. And the U.S., they, they had some pretty good shots, too, but overall, it, the U.S. was pretty bad performance, I gotta say. And I, I hate naming names, but this is the national team, so if you can't live up to the national team, then you should be, shouldn't be there. Yeah, but Bradley, he was playing badly. He played badly in all the games, to be honest. And he missed many, many shots against Portugal when he was right next to the goal. Um, he gave away the uh, the winning goal, I think. I think it was him who gave away the winning goal to Portugal. And... Yeah, sorry, I don't want to name names, but gosh. 
Can, can they put somebody else on the field besides him? And um, Beckerman, I gotta say, he's had some pretty good games leading up to this match, but in this match, Beckerman was absolutely terrible. He spent... I, 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 I crap you not, he was on the ground the entire game. He kept falling on the ground every single time. And uh, a lot of the replays showed he wasn't even being touched. He was just on the ground. Just on the ground. What was he doing? I I'm surprised Klinsman didn't sub him out because he was not doing anything on the field. Absolutely nothing. They should have subbed him and Bradley out. And, I mean, honestly, I don't think they should be playing Bradley, period. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah. I I'm, I'm really happy that Germany won. I would have been happy with the draw, too, if the USA tied. Um... But uh, suffice it to say, both the uh, Germany and USA, they advance to the next uh, next round. And um, I'm excited about that. But, uh, yeah. Um, come on, guys. Don't, if you're American, don't don't treat the uh, the opposing team like like that. Don't, don't throw crap at them. Jeez. I mean, I, I thought Americans were better than that. You know, go to a game, have fun. You can poke fun at the other team, but, man, don't take it too far. Jeez. Um, what are your thoughts on this match? And uh, I'm going to show you some um, some footage from uh, from downtown. I'm not going to show you any of the, the drama that unfolded, but I'm just going to show you some atmosphere footage that I took where I um, stood up and, you know, did a 360 and recorded all the fans. <laughs> 